rectilinear propagation of light 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 is a form of energy which causes the sensation of sight luminous objects the objects which themselves emit light are called luminous objects example sun stars electric bulb candle non luminous objects the objects which do not emit light by themselves but they become visible by the light falling from some luminous object on them are called non luminous objects a ray of light a light ray represents the path along which the light travels beam of light a group of light ray given out from a source is called a beam of light types of beam of light divergent beam convergent beam and parallel beam of light divergent beam of light a beam of light emitted from a point source is called a divergent beam convergent beam of light a beam of light coming towards a point is called a convergent beam parallel beam of light when the rays of light travel parallel to each other then such a collection of rays is called parallel beam medium the substance through which light is made to pass is called a medium there are three types of medium transparent translucent and opaque medium transparent medium a medium which allows most of the light energy to pass through it is called transparent medium translucent medium a medium which allows the light energy to pass through it partially is called a translucent medium opaque medium a medium is said to be opaque when it doesn't allow the light to pass through it at all point source of light when a rays of light are emitted from a single point it is called point source of light extended source of light when rays of light are emitted from infinite number of points it is called extended source of light rectilinear propagation of light it means that light travels in a straight line shadow shadow is the dark patch formed behind an opaque object when it is placed in the path of light umbra umbra is the complete dark part of shadow where no light reaches penumbra a region of partial darkness of shadow is called penumbra conditions for the formation of shadow there must be a source of light there must be an opaque body to stop the light there must be a screen to receive the shadow 